You have a warm afternoon and you begin to get a little chill in the air. You look to the west and what do you see? A blanket, a soft gray misty blanket that's just rolling towards you. And with that comes a breeze and you smell the ocean. And as that blanket comes towards you and that breeze comes towards you, so does that fog. And all of a sudden it just encompasses the whole area where you are. The initiative to get the Russian River Valley Appalachians really going was back in 1982. And the Russian River didn't have a voice in the market. Uh, there was no organization then other than Sonoma County Wineries. That was the only organization in the whole county. So it was really an unknown. I mean, it was an area that had some wineries in it, some vineyard, but it wasn't a very big deal at that time. We all decided, well, we got to do something about this. And uh, our decision that day was to put in $125 each in and to get Russian River wine growers started. Uh, almost no one knew or cared if they're in the Russian River Valley. You know? And that has changed, especially when we formed the organization to actually promote the area. It was Sarah Lee Cundy. It was Kirk Loca. It was Christine Deloach. It was Warren Dutton. It was Louis Fapiano. They really had a vision of what this AVA could really become because they knew the grapes that were coming from here were the best in all the world for growing, especially Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. In the terms of the kind of wines we make here, I think fog is the life force of our wines. It extends our growing season to extraordinarily long levels. We're able to pick a window based on our beliefs on when the best point of picking is. We want that cool, we want that long hang time, we want uh, fruit that you know matures uh, slowly, that we don't get that furnace of heat turned on, that we can you know, produce world-class grapes. You know, the, the weather that we have here, I mean, the diurnal swings, all that kind of stuff, the soil, there's just, the, it, it's, 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 you know, everything coming together in one spot to make uh, great wine. I still think there's a lot of quality to Russian River that is kind of unique, is it's not just about large wineries, it's about the small grower and how do we advance their areas. I mean, the original grape to glass was showcased in a way that you would do like a community barbecue to fundraise for a church or a fire department. That was the whole thing. That is Russian River. I think we need to keep charging forward, making sure these inquisitive new wine drinkers see that there is changing and improvement in the Russian River. I think we've pushed the coldness and the Pinot Noir so hard in it, which does very well, that people don't realize there's other grapes that can grow here. I grow a beautiful Petit Syrah, and I think the misconceptions are that only Pinot Noir can be grown here, only Chardonnay can be grown here. In the short time that we've been in ABA here, there has been such a tremendous gain in understanding of our terroir and our uniqueness. Uh, very rarely is somebody playing the wrong grape in the wrong place anymore. But we're learning what is the highest and best use of every single spot of ground and how to best farm that to achieve the highest quality possible. What we see that's happening is that varieties are becoming known for the area where they grow best in. And so we're really seeing you know, the, what's happened in Europe over the last 2,000 years really start to happen here in California. There's a lot of family-owned uh, vineyards that uh, have been in existence through generations. We have a very diverse and eclectic group of growers. They're, um, you know, from an acre to two acres to, you know, uh, 5,000 acres. We all have the same goal in mind, which is to promote Russian River Valley um, of Sonoma County. It's the exact opposite of the large farming operations. Uh, it's smaller growers all working together as a community to produce a better product. I help my neighbors, my neighbors help me, whether it's labor, or techniques or whatever it takes for better grape growing. We have challenges just like any other Appalachian or wine growing region, but what do we do? The Russian River Valley Wine Growers Association, we stick together as a family and we meet those challenges head on as an organization.